Hey guys, Matt Dancho here, and what I'm going to share with you guys today is a brand new AI data science agent called the Data Wrangler. And this is a really cool agent that is, we're going to see how to like take a whole file directory of CSV files, and it's just going to wrangle them for us. So this is pretty sweet. This is like, I'm not going to lie, pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. And you're going to see how to do this in like one or a couple lines of Python code. So get started though, before we dive into like all the code and everything, I do want to share where this is coming from. So you're going to be, get this thing set up. I have this new Python package called the AI data science team, and I'll put a link in the video notes. So make sure you click on this, do me a favor, give it a GitHub star. That really helps out a lot. It helps get people, it'll help you find it faster, number one, but it also, it'll help, help me promote it and tell GitHub that, you know, this is a cool library. All right, so to get started here, what the AI data science team is, this is like an army of data science co-pilots, like to help you pr perform all sorts of data tasks, like cleaning, I have a cleaning agent out now, I have a feature engineering agent, and then my newest one is this data wrangling agent, and I have a bunch of other that I'm gonna be creating, like a SQL database agent, I'm gonna create a data analyst, a machine learning agent, interpretability agent, you know, all this stuff that really builds a full AI data science team. Okay, so we're going to focus on this guy right here, the data wrangling agent. So I'll just zoom in or, or yeah, there you go. Data wrangling agent. There we go. So that's that's who we're going to be working with today. Okay, get started here. Let me just clear out some of the stuff. I am in AI tip number five. This is the automate data wrangling. This is the folder that we're going to wrangle. So it has a bunch of files in here. And these are by manufacturer. So for example, this one's Audi or Audi. This is some of their vehicles and it has like different data on those. Okay, so we want to combine all of these data sets into one data set and be able to basically get it ready for analysis. So that's what our AI agent's going to do today. So the problem here is that data wrangling, often this is a time consuming process. So you can think about like, you got to merge all the data, I got to analyze it, I got to look for, you know, cleaning things up. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up that process and that's gonna allow us to analyze data faster. It's gonna allow us to make models, machine learning models faster. It allows us to get business insights faster, okay? So my goal today with you, uh, I wanna expose you to my new AI, AI data science team of copilots. We kinda of did that already. You saw the GitHub repo. Make sure you give it a star. Second, we're gonna create the AI copilot, which is gonna automate our data wrangling. So this is the real power, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that AI copilot to wrangle a folder of Excel files, or in our case, CSV files here. Here's links to the AI data science team. Also join the newsletter. You'll get all of the code that I show here today. So make sure you join my AI tips newsletter. Again, link in the video notes. All right, let's run this bad boy. So let me share what's going on here. I'm loading in a few different libraries. First, the, the, the one that I want to point you to is this AI data science team. So you do need to install that. That's the GitHub repo I just showed you. You're going to use this command, pip install, and then it's got, got this git string here, git plus, and that's going to get you the development version because I am developing this actively. And what we're going to do then is we're going to import Langchain OpenAI. And this is, and from that, we're going to grab the chat open AI function. What that's going to allow us to do is use our open AI API key. I'm not going to discuss how to get the API key. There's lots of video tutorials on that online. Do me a favor, get an open AI API key and you'll be able to follow along exactly. Also the thing I love about Langchain, if you don't want to use open AI, say you want to use chat anthropic or you want to use O llama and you've got your meta, you know, llama model on your MacBook pro, right? You can use that just swap this out for chat open AI for chat Olama or chat anthropic and whatever LLM provider you want to use, you can use it. And I designed the AI data science team that way to make it very like modular. Next couple libraries here. These are, are kind of basic libraries for like blocking and tackling. I, I like to say you see some familiar ones like pandas, but we're also going to be working with the operating system path lib. And this is really just to kind of like set things up for us. Okay. And then the, the real magic is this AI data science team. So we're going to do from AI data science team dot agents, import, make data wrangling agent. And that's going to be the, the real power here. So we're going to actually make this agent. I um, mean, check on, out the documentation, but I'll actually walk you through an example here of how I like to use this. Okay. Uh, next thing we need to set up our project. So I'm working out of this 005 automate data wrangling, and I'm going to set my path route to that folder. And then I'm going to also add my OpenAI API key in. So you're just going to use this line of code here. 
you're gonna replace your OpenAI API key with your actual API key, okay? Very simple. Uh, I'm gonna be running this because I don't want you to see my OpenAI API key. So I'm gonna run that, I'm gonna make sure I run my path root. Uh, the model I'm gonna use is GPT-40 Mini. Again, I'm using OpenAI's models. If you don't wanna use those, you can swap those out. Logging, so this is really powerful. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna create this AI functions folder. And what this will allow me to do is to log the data wrangling script that's gonna be generated by AI. And this is what's gonna like actually wrangle this whole folder worth of data. I want the function. I don't wanna just get the data set, but I wanna be able to make a reusable function called a pipeline to be able to clean up uh, the same folder next time, not have to run AI. So AI is not only gonna wrangle it for me, but it's also going to create a reusable function so I don't have to continuously call LLMs. So make sure you set logging to true. All right, next I'm gonna read in my data set. So this is actually just kind of like straight up pandas. We're gonna go through each folder here. And what this is gonna do is, what, and what it just did here, so let me just run this, this one first. It's gonna print the file name and then it's going to read those CSVs and it's gonna append it to this files list. So we got a big list here uh, of files uh, that's gonna have all the data. Now, one caveat here is that these are stored as, I'm storing these I'm reading the CSV as a data frame, but then I'm converting it to a dictionary. And we'll see why later. It's because when we set up the agent, we, we actually want our files as a dictionary, okay? Okay, once you do that, we're ready to set up the AI Copilot. So we're gonna create our AI Copilot. We're just gonna run this script here. What that's gonna do is gonna set up our LLM model. I'm gonna use that LLM model inside of my data wrangling agent. I'm gonna set logging to true and give it the log path to this folder here of AI functions. And I'm created, I've just now instantiated this data wrangling agent. So now it's ready to use. I mean, these are, you'll see this cool diagram, but basically this is the sub agents in, inside of that data wrangling agent that makes this thing tick. Okay, now we're ready to wrangle the data. So I'm going to run this and as I'm running it, I'll explain what's going on. So I'm gonna give it some user instructions. I'm gonna let it know that this is a folder of vehicle data by manufacturer. Please combine each file into a single data frame, assess any additional wrangling that may be needed. So I'm kind of giving it a little bit of instructions to give it this AI a head start, letting it know that I'm working with some vehicle manufacturer data and that I want it to be combined into a single data frame that I can further process for analysis. I'm giving it the raw data, which is these files that I've stored as a list of several dictionaries. Each dictionary contains basically the data frame. So one dictionary will have this for Audi, one for Chevrolet, and so on. The next thing that we're doing is this retries. So you're gonna see here, if I run into an issue with executing the data wrangler code, so right now you can see it's like kind of walking through each step, recommending, creating, executing. So once it creates the data wrangler code, we're gonna execute it, and if we run into any issues, we're gonna retry, all right? So when we retry, um, we wanna give it a max number of retries. So if it runs into a problem, it'll, it'll, it'll attempt to fix it three times, basically. And that's what this stuff does here. Okay, <clears throat> so now we are finished. And let's see what we got here. So we've got some keys here. So I'm, I'm gonna first grab out the wrangled data. And this is what it's produced for me, 225 rows by 11 columns. And let's see what we've got in here. So it looks like it's merged or um, concatenated all of those columns. But let's find out exactly what this thing did. So what we can see is we've actually taken a bunch of steps. So this data wrangling agent, if I go into my messages, this is what the, what the explain step. So if we remember, we've got this explain step up here. So explain data wrangler code. So that what I wanna understand is what did it do, okay? So the data wrangler function performs the following data wrangling steps, input validation, standardize the column names, make sure that DRV is type object by converting integer values to strings for consistency, 
concatenating data frames, combining all data frames and data list to a single data frame. So that's good. That's what I wanted it to do. But it's also like inspecting combined data frame, output shape. It's going to check for duplicates. It's going to handle any inconsistent data types. It's going to identify and assess missing values, check for missing values, explore the unique values and summarize key metrics. And that's what we'll, we'll get in our function. If we want our function, so since we set logging to true, we actually get this, <clears throat> we actually get this data wrangler function. And this is, this is pretty fantastic. So all of the code that it created, we've now just stored here and you can see exactly what it's doing when we run this. So if I want to run this again on this, you know, on this data set, I can, I can now use this function. I apply it. I, I give it a, a list of data frames and then it'll run through and basically recreate the, the data wrangler code. All right, so there you have it, guys. We just literally wrangled all of this data in just a few lines of code, and we let LLMs kind of do the hard work for us. So now we have this beautiful data set that's ready for analysis. That's amazing. So next steps, my goal is to have a team, a whole team of these AI co-pilots that you can basically grab them off the shelf and use them as needed to solve various tasks like feature engineering, like cleaning code or cleaning data, data wrangling, database agents that'll get data from your databases, machine learning agents to help you model faster and basically help you do, you know, all these tasks that take a long time, 10x faster. So I, want, I am looking for your feedback on the AI Copilot. So if you do have, if you do try these out and you have some feedback, you want some changes made, please let me know that. The best way to do that, just head over here to my GitHub repo and give me an issue. You can add issues in here. Just click new issue. You can see this one, somebody wants a full stack data science agent. So they want an agent that builds apps. I think that's a great idea. So just create an issue if you've got ideas like that. Okay. I am going to be talking a lot about the evolution and, and these new agents and what they can do for you. So if you want to stay in the loop, the easiest way is to join my newsletter once a week. I'm going to be talking about updates I'm making to this AI data science team and new agents that are coming and like how you can use them for different kind of different ways to solve common problems in data science. Okay, so make sure you join the newsletter. Link is in the video notes. Also, if you wanted to take your data analysis or data science and combine that with generative AI and learn how to build custom agents for your companies, I want to teach you how to do that. And I have a, actually a program that I just launched not too long ago. It's an eight week program where I teach data scientists how to use generative AI and build these agents and actually build applications that your companies can use. So this is the kind of curriculum, you know, we start with kickoff and then we, we learn some of the really important things, the skills that I'm, that I found the most valuable. And then you also learn how to take those into production on AWS using AWS bedrock EC2 and actually deploy enterprise grade generative AI applications for your company. So it's pretty cool. This is a paid program though, but you can check it out here. Here's a link. I'll also put that in the video notes. All right, that's it. I'll see you soon. I'll have another update in about uh, a couple of days.